What's up, Mo Gang? Welcome to my channel if you are new here. If you are returning, welcome back to the Mo Gang. If you are not already a part of the Mo Gang, do make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell. Select all so you are notified each and every time I post a new video over here on my channel and or any content because sometimes I do post posts in the community area as well as here and there I'll sprinkle some shorts in. So make sure you have all on and today we are doing part two of my favorite which is gonna be my skincare. So it's what I use on my face. We're still recovering from some dark spots. They have lightened a lot because I had more. I don't, I don't know what was happening with my skin. I think I was ingesting a little, 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 little bit too much sugar like that. And I have to pick. I know, I know you shouldn't, but I do. So I'm going to try to kind of just knock these out under 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start in order of steps. Okay. So we're going to go with step one first, which would be cleansing. Let's go ahead and get started. I have been trying to um, double cleanse. However, I don't have a favorite right now to share. Um, but so since I don't have anything to show for my first cleansing, the double cleansing, I will go to my tried and true, my Nor Door Cosmetics Clean Foaming Facial Cleanser. Y'all should know. If you don't know, now you know. This hands down. Ever since I used this, I want to say three to four years ago, may have been closer to four, may have been a little bit longer, but definitely at least four years ago, I picked this up. It came up on my Facebook, uh, not Facebook, my Instagram ads, picked up the system along with their, um, they had a bar at the time as well, the black soap bar. Um, this is black soap based. And... I use that system for an entire month. I use it day and night. Only other product I use is a product that I have over here. I was about to pull it up. Is a product I have over here, which was an essence because I felt like I needed a little more hydration in my skin because I feel like at that point, my skin was used to a little more hydration. So it, there's no serum step in this system. So with that not technically being there, I had to add that. And that definitely, uh, that was a great experience. I will actually link that down below, especially if some of you all are not people who have been here since the beginning of my channel, which I think has been six years ago, maybe seven, which is crazy. Um, but anyway, y'all should already know, if you're following me on my Instagram, you already know how I feel about this. I do not get paid to talk about this, okay? I, I have a link, I have a um, like a discount code or whatever. I think it still works as far as I know it does. I'll have that down below as well. Also with the link to the system that I use for my skin. My skin is oily, no combination about it. My skin is flat out oily, um, but this hands down has been my favorite facial cleanser I've ever used. I wouldn't lie to y'all. I wouldn't lie to y'all. It's worth every printing. And literally what really gets me is the ingredients. Purify water, black botanical soap, herbal and botanical blends. That's the end of the list y'all. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. So it is still my favorite cleanser. Still my favorite cleanser. Um, I'm going to also throw in exfoliation at this point because that's when I would do exfoliation. It's right after my cleansing. And I have two here. 
One is a combination of a physical and a chemical exfoliant, which is the Dermalogica microfoliant. Yeah, daily microfoliant, which looks like this. And this is 2.6 ounces. Now, she's not cheap. However, I don't even know if I'm halfway through this. I use this at minimum at this point once a week. Sometimes it'll be twice a week. I try to remember to use it twice a week personally. Um, but the last couple weeks, I've been once a week. Prior to that, I was using it twice a week. I was remembering pretty well. Honestly, I'm probably going to use this tonight if I'm being real. I love this. So it comes out as a powder. You, For me, honestly, my hands are already wet. I just put the powder in my hands, rub it together. It works into like this foam with these little exfoliants in it but they're not overly abrasive they make the skin feel so smooth love this stuff and then one other exfoliant this is actually a liquid one and this is paula's choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant and she a little beat up so don't don't pick on my words because they rubbing out. And this is a one ounce. I got this along with the other one that they have. It's another like, it's like a duo type thing. Um, it's in a light gray, but I got this as a duo. I want to say, oh, when was it? It might've been the last Sephora sale. I'm gonna say it was the last Sephora sale. They had this in a two pack for like 20 something dollars. I hopped on it because this is pricey full price and I wanted to try it out to see what the rate was, but this is really good. And I'm still not done with this. I'm still probably, I'm about probably here on this. I've been doing this for a while now. I will say I haven't been consistent with it. Um, sometimes I just forget. So whenever, again, I do couple that with this. So if I'm only, if I only end up doing this once a week, that's usually the only time I'm using that. So I use it together. So been slacking a little bit, but this little one ounce has held me down. The other one, not a huge fan of it. I feel like this one works better and it feels so, I don't know what this smoothing effect is, but they both kind of feel the same way, but this is in liquid form versus the microphone. In. Really like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and fast forward through to toners. I'm saying toners specifically, technically this is a toner, but toners, I'm gonna, of course, y'all should know, Nordor Cosmetics, Tonic Mist, Moisture Mist, mm -hmm. yeah, and I've, I've put a pretty dent in her, I'm gonna have to re-up, but this is Witch Hazel based, and for the girlies who loved and swore by Thayer's because I was one. Trust me, when I found Thayer's Witch Hazel, I had struck gold. I had struck gold. So I actually like that this is Witch Hazel based. I feel like that also helps keep my acne at bay as well. This is packed. Now I will say the list is long, but it's not a bunch of BS in here. It is good stuff. And her stuff is cruelty free, by the way. Um, and this is a black woman owned business, Casey, shout out to you. If you just so happen to watch my channel, shout out to you because these, these products are so good. Um, other one is newer. As you can see, I have a pretty dent in here. I use this in the morning time. This is the peach slices, slices jeez okay the the c's and the s's right there <laughs> snail rescue blemish busting toner and that is what she looks like you can use this in the morning and at night i just choose to use this as my morning toner because i use the moisture mist at night mainly so i just just keep this pretty much for this i like this y'all and I really do feel like it is keeping blemishes off my face as well. Like along with everything, I feel like everything is working together really well 
because in general, like, and I'm sure y'all probably can tell on camera, my skin is smooth. Like I have some like little, like I can t feel like clogged pores where it's probably like little right here. But for the most part, I have a few of those, but for the most part, y'all can see my skin is clear. It is just smooth. It's just smooth skin. My forehead, off, smooth skin. Smooth, clear skin. I have lightened up a lot because I had a lot more uh, dark marks on this side. I had some down here. I had a couple up here. Like, a lot is working good. And I think this really is doing it for me to have something on my skin during the daytime that helps as well. I really like that. Um, so I'm going to go into the essences category now. I'm going to start with my liquid essences and then I will go to my like serum essences because I do have four. And yes, I use these four every single day. And I will tell you when and, you know, kind of all that. So first up is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng essence water and it looks like this here and as you can tell your girl has made a dent into this R real bad this is 5.7 fluid ounces now i will say and i'm gonna keep asking casey until the end of time i need the four ounce back of this this is two ounces it because i just feel like i go through it so quick because baby i'm gonna spray you know what i'm saying and with this i don't need a lot so <laughs> here's my dilemma with this right i like it at first i was kind of like oh, i mean it's okay it's cool but this is ginseng root water 80 percent, and then niacinamide two percent that's what it is niacinamide my skin Oily skin in particular. If you have oily skin, please, please, please make sure you have niacinamide in multiple steps throughout your routine for day and night. It helps your skin so much. It helps with the dark marks as well, but it also helps to keep your pores, I feel like unclogged as well in a sense, but it helps with blemishes as well. This is good. And it's like, I keep teetering between like, Okay, I am getting low. Do I want to go ahead and reorder and keep, you know, keep it in rotation? Or do I want to get it a break and just use this other product that I'm about to show in a second? I don't know because I like this as well. But it's like a thick water is what it feels like. And it feels so refreshing. Y'all, I'm telling you. And yes, majority of my products, with the exception of the Polish Choice, the Dermalogica, and the Nordor Cosmetic products, is Korean skincare. I have dabbled. I haven't turned back. But I will never give up my core system. I do like exfoliants, and these two are really good, too. So, yes. So, next item is this Vegan Kombucha Tea Essence by Dr. Serurical, serurical? I don't, I don't know if that's how you say it at all. And as you can see, this is how it looks, right? You shake this baby like this, and it is this beautiful, milky goodness. So this is the product that I was talking about. Do I just want to repurchase only this? I love this. I love it. It's so. I You're going to hear me say hydrating, hydrating, hydrating all the way through to the end. So that's one tip I can give my oily skin gals. Do not dehydrate your skin. Do not use. I don't have a single oil free label product over here my deep cleansing i deep cleanse every day that's what this is but outside of that i don't do a lot of oil free because a lot of times with the oil free products they're going to have like peroxide in there they're going to have salicylic acid which there's nothing wrong with salicylic acid that's what literally this is 
But to use stuff like that, that's in multiple steps, that's oil free all day. You're dehydrating your skin, which is making you produce even more oils. So like right now, the, the, the subtle sheen, the sheen that you see in my face is just the oiliness from the day. Like that's just the oiliness from the day. I'm going to have that regardless. But it was one point in time when I tell you it looked like I had per grease on my face because my skin was so dehydrated and that will cause breakouts. So on to my serum essences. I'm still riding with Jin Jung Sung. Y'all should already know the Soothing Moisture Skin Essence. I have been hooked on this stuff for the past four years in counting. Ever since I saw Casey Aaliyah use this to restore her skin barrier, I've, I've ordered it ever since. It's on subscription. It comes every three months, I want to say, because it takes me a little while to get through it. Because uh, I now only use this in the daytime. I used to use this morning and night. I now only use this in the daytime because I have another essence serum, which is the Advanced Snail Mucin, as y'all can see. I got a corner of this left. I'm probably actually going to go ahead and order me another. No, no. So I'm not going to reorder this yet. The reason why I say yet is because I have a, another item over here to the side that I want to try out. And I'm not 100% sure if, the, if it's more of a liquid essence type of deal or if it's more serum like like this. Nail mucin. Yes, is exactly what it sounds like. It is snail secretions. That is what this, the base of this is. But let me tell you, if you're, as long as you're not a texture part, this is not sticky, but it does have, you can see that kind of like slimy look, but it, the, the hydration, I told y'all you don't hear me keep saying it. The hydration, okay? The hydration. The You're hydration. Moving. I'm going to move on to the serums category. So just strictly serums. Um, the one I've been really liking is this Madagascar Centella Ampule. Um, now, can I really explain what this is? No. is As you can see, it's very liquidy. But this is... Feels so good to the skin and it drinks into the skin very, very well. I really like this. I'm definitely going to reorder this for sure. And it's just a nice, it's just a nice added oomph right after I use my essence serums. I, I call them essence serums, but they're just essences. That's just what they're called. But I say that to distinguish between the two because I have technically four. Um, Another one that was a surprising pickup is this CeraVe uh, resurfacing retinol serum. So I'm I'm a sucker for something that says ceramides. So this has three essential ceramides, licorice root extract, and my fave niacinamide. <laughs> It don't take much if I see nice and light. I'm getting it nine times out of 10. But the fact that this has three essential ceramides in it too, I was like, oh, I'm picking this up because I actually do like products with ceramides in it. They just work really good. But this is like a thick kind of lightweight cream gel type of formulation. And it feels so good. It's It also goes on like with this smoothness that it leaves behind i love this and like i said if i hadn't just used this last night i would use this tonight with my exfoliating products because this is a resurfacing product but i i i, I love it y'all i i really do last serum that i clearly have been loving because it's not much left of it is by beauty of just sun um the glow serum propolis plus you guessed it nice and 
<laughs> I told y'all I love some when I send my edit. Um, this is I think one ounce. It does not say. I think this is a one ounce. Mm-hmm. I like this. It and it does what it said. It is a genuinely a glow serum. It your skin looks so good. And like I said, I really think also the nice amount and this just does just helps it just it just helps but i do like this this is like a thicker serum consistency i really do My. enjoy this um moisturizers then i'm gonna do my sunscreen and then i'm gonna do tools and i say tools in quotation marks because you'll see why i do that in just a second so first up Let's go ahead and knock this out the way. Of course, the Nordor Calm um, Skin Conditioning Cream. This is the one for oily skin. So this is more of a gel cream consistency. She does have the Quenched, I think is the other one, for dry to normal skin. And it's thicker. It's more of a thicker um, type of moisturizer. Y'all already should know absolute fave and this has been a new pleasant favorite um this is by this is of course is the vegan kombucha green excuse me vegan kombucha tea gel cream by dr sarah sericle maybe sericle but this is this and this is 1.5 fluid ounces and this is a beautiful gel cream. This is a beautiful gel cream. So for my skin personally, I feel like oily skin. If you have never tried a gel cream on your skin, get your hands on some. Because if y'all know, y'all know my favorite. And she probably will make a run back on the channel eventually. The Belief Aqua Bomb. That's all I'm going to say. The Belief Aqua Bomb. Mm -hmm. But this is also very much, it gives Aqua Bomb. It gives Aqua Bomb. I really, really like this. So I would honestly, I would consider picking this up. But I do have one other gel cream I need to get my hands on first before I decide if I'm gonna buy the Aqua Bomb again. The Tula one, I think I forgot what it's called, Charade del Sol. Honey, when it comes to some skincare stuff, because she's very particular. She is she is nitpicky. Okay, she does not play around. So if she's saying something is good. I am very, very intrigued to try it because I know she's very, very picky by her hair products, by her skin product. Like she's very particular. So yeah, she's a lot of the reason why I got a lot of this Korean skincare. Her last up, my energy's depleting. So I'm trying to go ahead and wrap this up. I was going to do the body hair one after this. It depends. I may, I don't know. So you may see this shirt again, but in the event, um, so sunscreen right now, my fave that I am tearing up. I probably got, I got like maybe this much more left in this one. And this is does it say 50 grams, but this is by Sun Killer. This is their perfect water essence SPF sunscreen. And it is SPF 50 plus, plus, plus. 50 plus PAA four pluses. So that's just, that's just, I know that's just a really good something. I can't give you all the backing behind the PA plus, 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 but it's some good stuff. I like this a lot. Now I will say my favorite I've already used up. So um, from that same video, uh, the sunscreen video that Sheree posted, because she has sensitive eyes, I also lean towards that as well. I don't have sensitive eyes, but I do find that certain, like, SPS, whether it's SPF moisturizers or just strictly SPS, 
has started to burn my eyes over time. This is nice. I've had this one. I had a, another one. I'm going to put them. If I have pictures up, you'll see those coming up on the screen. Um, but the Sun Prize one has been my favorite. But so far, I've tried three um, Japanese, Korean uh, sunscreens. None of these leave white. Caps. So I'm going to move into my little tools here and then we're going to wrap this video up. So only two things I have, of course, is a fan and it does have six different levels. This is the highest level and it is rechargeable. I just use this to be able to quickly dry down my products and then like my little puff cuffs, like these little cuffs that I use. I use these mainly in the morning time because of course I'm washing at the sink. I don't like all that water running down my arms. That's what these are for. So that's why I said two like little tool type of items. Um, I don't use anything other than my, my hands on my face. I make sure I wash for a minute. So I just keep washing, washing. As long as you're washing with your hands, for a solid minute. You can go a little longer. I wouldn't go past two minutes if you're feeling fancy, but at least for one full minute, making sure you're hitting every area of your face, you will not, and I repeat, will not have dirt left behind on your face. Yeah, that is the end of my favorites part two with skincare. If y'all got any questions about any of the products shown in today's video, make sure you do leave those down below in the comment area i would love to talk and interact with you guys like comment share with someone you think might be you know might might, might find this a little useful might find it helpful um definitely share it you know let's let's build this thing up over here this is yes this is my hobby um but it won't hurt to you know continue to grow the community over here why not Let's expand the Mo Gang. Let's expand the Mo Gang. And I will catch you guys in part three. Part three is going to be the body care. Body care and fragrance. So stay tuned for that. And then after that is going to be the video from this wash day. It's going to be kind of like a relaxing wash day video coupled with a little ASMR as well. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, my gang.